Okay, this one's kind of hard. There's a lot you need to know, and, and I understand why people might quit on this one. So um, here's what we need to do. We're not given an equations. So we can't like throw this in Desmos and see it that way, but they are giving us lots of points. So I would want to create a graph and just be like, okay, what, what does this thing look like? And it's an XY graph, but it only occurs in that first quadrant where the X's and the Y's are positive. And the reason is that, you know, well, it's a, it's a um, projectile's height. So we're talking about time, which is the X, and we're talking about height, which is the Y. You can't have a negative height, you can't have a negative time, so it's gotta be just in this quadrant. So what do they tell us? Okay, uh, quadratic, fun quadratic function models a projectile's height in meters above the ground in terms of the time in seconds after it's launched. That's just code for X is time, Y is height. That's usually how it goes anyway. Um, the model estimates that the projectile was launched from an initial height of seven meters above the ground. So that's a point. Let's actually use different colors here. So initial height of seven means that when time is zero, the, the height is seven. So this is like a y-intercept. So that's gonna appear right there. Moving on though. Uh, and it reached a maximum height of 5.1 meters uh, three seconds after it was launched. So let's just put three kind of here and 51.1 up here. And so there's a point up here. Now, if that's the maximum, right, it, it goes up to that point, but then it goes down, right? So it's coming up here and then it's turning and then it's coming back down. So it basically looks like this. It's an upside down parabola. So we do need to know that a quadratic is gonna have this kind of curvy parabola shape. Now though, what do they want from us? We've got these two points. What could they possibly want? How many seconds after the launch does the model estimate that the projectile will return to a height of seven meters? So they don't care about this point down here. This is not important. This is what we would say is our our x-intercept, it's a, a height of zero, that they don't care about. They want something else. They want another height of seven, which is gonna happen here, right? If we drew kind of like a horizontal line at seven meters, we would see that it's gonna hit, in, uh, again, it's gonna pass that point again. Um, the, the reason you might get stuck is there's one more fact that we need to know, and it's that parabolas are symmetrical about their maximums and minimums. So basically, if I drew another kind of line here, we'll use the highlighter, the left side of this parabola, the left side of this highlighted line and the right side are mirror images of each other. And I get why that's kind of confusing, right? Because like I said, we're in the first quadrant only. So we don't have this kind of other end where it goes below seven because the, the graph doesn't go there. But in theory, it still does. But I don't care about that. I wanna know what's going on when we go from seven to three, or let me say it again, when we go from the starting point to the high point, the maximum, because whatever happens in that time, the same amount of time is gonna pass and I'm gonna get back to seven. So it's, it's symmetrical. So what happened? Three seconds went by to go from the launch to the maximum. So if we wanna get back to seven, we need three more seconds to go by because it's symmetrical. Three seconds on the left, three seconds on the right, either way we're at seven. So that means, okay, well, if it took us three seconds to the middle, another three seconds back to seven is a total of six seconds. So choice B is the answer. It's tricky, hardest question, right? It's the last one in the section. We should expect it to be a little harder than most of the others. Um, but I, I do think maybe we could get this if we just took a chance and graphed these points and kind of connected the dots. Uh, we might be able to take a smart guess. Um, but, uh, you know, remember that the main rule that we're following here is that parabolas are symmetrical, right? And then this is kind of where it gets a little mathy about their max or min. Meaning that if we drew a, a vertical line through the maximum or the minimum of a parabola, the left side and the right side are gonna look identical. So whatever the, um, every time we have um, a, the same Y coordinate, at the same height in this case, the time, the X, the distance from that point to 
the the center is the same. So I'm thinking of distance here, even though it's it's the unit is time, right? This distance of three is the same as this distance of three, right? We're talking distance in terms of like boxes on the graph. So it's gonna be symmetrical, it's gonna be consistent. That fact does come up on the SCT, as we can see here. It is a, you know, a fundamental feature of parabolas. So hopefully it's something you can remember in case you have to draw another one, you can see the symmetry for yourself.